last video I have to make is um, similar to the one you're going to do. So uh, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. What I'd like to do is show you how to solve um, for my variable g, which I did not show you. Um, so in this case, uh, what we see is uh, we want to isolate g. And we have, uh, we're adding vt. It's being subtract, or you're subtracting g from vt. So a lot of times I say you know, to pin the variable and leave it just on one side. Since this is negative, I'm actually going to put it to the other side so I can solve for the positive value of it rather than having to divide it again. So to move g to the other side, I gotta, I, g is being multiplied by t squared. So I've got to make sure I bring the whole term over. So therefore, now I have, uh, let's write it gt squared plus h equals vt. Now you can see, all right, now that I have the positive value of my variable, I can still kind of circle it and say, pin it. All right, I'm not going to move it anymore. Now I just want to undo what's happening to it. And you can see that now I'm adding an h to it, and I'm multiplying by t squared. So you just undo the operations. So we always undo addition and subtraction first. So subtract an h first. And when doing that, I now have g t squared equals v t minus h. And then to undo multiplying by t squared is I'll divide by t squared. So therefore, I now have g equals vt minus h divided by t squared. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you solve for your um, variable using your inverse operations. Thanks. All right, so let's go and look at them. 